Hello, everyone. Pokenerd130 here. Welcome to my very first LP on the LP Syndicate, the new collaboration channel that I am a part of. My very first LP will be of The Simpsons Hit and Run for the Nintendo GameCube. Now, I have my own channel, yes, it's in the description. As of recording this video, I have 34 subscribers, I believe. And, yeah, and counting. I think it was yesterday or this morning. I checked my YouTube, I had another two subscribers. So, hopefully, you're able to hear the game audio. I haven't been able to use to because, um,. I use a headset. I use a headset, sorry. And the capture card. And like the capture card only works in one slot. If I don't when I open up the my capture software, I'm actually going to skip the uh title screen for right now. When I like put the capture card into one slot, it'll work for the the capture in the TV. But when it's in the other spot, it will it like it won't. It'll only go to the webcam when I open up my uh, capture software. So, and the one that it doesn't work in, well, it will, the, my headset will capture game audio in the slot where the capture card's in. So, so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go into load game. I started a game a couple days ago. Um, okay, I guess I don't have to do that. I'm just gonna go to new game. Uh, no, I, actually, yes, I can do that. I believe anyway I'm gonna shut up right now there's a cutscene coming on can you hear that First, um, cutscene of the game. Anyway, local man ruins hot dog eating contest is qualified for vomiting. Study. 90% of video games start with an easy tutorial level. At the beginning of each level, it'll load up, but it'll have that little newspaper there. So, hopefully you were able to hear, you were able to hear that. Disable tutorials. I'm gonna, I can teach you everything that you need to know. Okay, so before we talk to Marge, I'm going to just do basic controls. Use the control stick to move around. Duh. Um, a button is to jump. And in the air, if you hit A again, you can do a double jump. B, you can kick when you're in the air. Bam. And if you do a double jump and then B, do a ground pound or butt stomp. You can kick off, off stuff like mailboxes, lamp posts, um, telephone booths, like that. And get coins. Coins are very important in this game, as you will see later. Oh, that was close. Uh, if you hold down X, you will run faster. L and R will change camera angles. Same with the C stick. Oh, you can also use the control pad to move. Never knew that. Okay. And before we do anything, I'm going to go ahead do the tutorial mission so I can teach how to do the driving controls in this game. I pray to God that you can hear that. I'm actually standing up. As the cutscenes go, I'm actually standing up and leaning towards the TV. So. Because there are a lot of talk. There's a lot of talking in this game. Anyway, you're supposed to go to the Quickie Mart and purchase some ice cream and cola. Now, to get into your car, use the Y button. When in the car, like you go in like that, but you can also go out by hitting Y. A nice little speedrunning tactic, if you jump if you jump onto the car and then hit Y, you go into it automatically. If that might be a good speed running ticket, I'm not sure. Anyway, use the A button to accelerate. I believe you can also use the uh, um the R button. You can also use, uh, press the Z button to honk. B button is your handbrake. X is to reverse. Y you can also use the brake and get out of your car. 
L is also uses break. I'm pretty sure that's basically everything. But if you hold down like B while accelerating, you can do like a little drifting thing. It's good for making sharp turns. Sorry if I'm talking too fast. <laughs> I tend to do that a lot. Anyway, um, I guess I should probably tell you guys a little bit about myself. Okay, well, my po my username is Pokenerd130. My channel's in the description. Um, I'm a guy. Even though that might not sound like it, I have a very high voice because I am only 13. Yes, I just became a teenager in January. It's what's it called? It's September right now. I came came January this year. Anyway, you know, another little talking cutscene. Okay, there we go. Bam! Mission completed! Okay, in this, in the Quickie Mart, there are a bunch of things. Okay, this is a gag. On a gag, usually they're sparkly and blue and stuff, but inside of a building, they're not. You hit Y, and something will happen. There are a lot of them. Oops. I did not mean to talk to a poo. Now that's the silent alarm. The squishy machine. And also do the ATM and Larry the Looter. A little cutscene. Okay, there we go. Um, let's see what else can I say about my shelf. Um, I'm in grade 8 right now. I just began grade eight a little while ago. This is clothing. As you can see, there are three clothing choices here. They cost coins, so I'm not gonna be buying them just yet. Probably next couple episodes or something. But here is where audience participation begins. I want you guys to vote on which costume you want me to see to see uh, Homer wear for the rest of the level. I'll buy all of them so I can get 100%. This will be a 100% run. I'll buy all of them, but I'll be, but I'll be, blah, 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 blah. I can't talk today for some reason. But I will wear one of them for the rest of the level. Now we have the casual, which is Homer in his underwear. We have the Moo Moo from the Simpsons episode where Homer, I don't remember the names of the episodes, but the Moo Moo is from the episode where Homer wants to become handicapped so he can work at home so he gains a bunch of weight. And the Chosen One outfit from the Stonecutters episode of The Simpsons, where he is, well, the Chosen One. So, put your vote down in the comments. Casual, Moo Moo, or Chosen One. You may only vote for one. There are actually a couple things we can do up here. If you get on top of the Duff Truck, you can also just hit that button. But you can just jump on, you can just dump on the crates and on. Anyway, up here. You have a wasp camera. What you want to do to kill these things is do the AB it thing. You get a bunch of coins for them. And each level, I believe, is 20. Let's just check that. Mission, I mean, level progress. As you can see, there's story missions. There's seven of them in the level. There's bonus missions. There's one of those. There's three street races, seven collector cars. We'll be getting into that right away. Vehicles, five. Cl character clothing, we just went over that. And wasp cameras, we just went over that. And we already have five gags. Yeah. Five. Anyway, we got that coin, and this is a box. But pound them, get a bunch of coins. You can also kick them, but I believe but pounding might actually be faster. Anyway, this is a collector card. There are seven of these in every level. There are seven levels, by the way, and each one pertains to something about the character in a Simpsons episode. This one's the crab juice. From episode 4F22, The City of New York versus Homer Simpson. When given a choice between crab juice and a certain surgery soft drink, Homer chooses the crab juice. Several cans of it. Unfortunately, there is no nearby bathroom. And they, each of the collector cards has a little quote at the bottom. This one's from Homer. New York is a hellhole. And you know how I feel about hellholes. Yeah, little quotes for each of them. From that episode, I believe. I think it's from each of the episodes. Anyway, 
speedrunning tactics. Woo! Okay. You might actually. I forgot about this. You want to come up here. Come on. No, no. Go up. Let's get on my car. Come on. Get up on the sign. Thank you. Thank you for cooperating. And another boss camera right here. So there's another one. I don't know exactly how I'm going to be working these episodes. If I'll be doing like a mission, an episode or something. I don't know. I'm, I'm just going to play it by ear. Anyway, if you come over here. Up on Alar Lads, there's another wasp camera. Level 1 wasp cameras are quite easy to find. You can get a bunch of coins. Coins, again, very important. Those, like, there are five vehicles. Okay, there are five vehicles in each level. Not counting the first one you start off with. The first vehicle you can get, like, you can get these in any order. From beating the bonus mission, you get a vehicle. From completing the three street races, you get a vehicle. From buying a vehicle from a random Springfielder around town, you can get a vehicle. And Gil, car salesman. Around town at every level, you can buy two cars from him. Yeah. Anyway, before we talk to Marge, I am actually going to go around here. Actually, I'm going to take the car around here. I'm going to go to this backyard because we're able to do that with the car. Because there are a couple boxes. Boxes are, the coins in a box are a lot easier to collect in the car. Because they go right to you. They're like a little magnet. Bam. See? They just go right to you. So much easier than butt pounding and stuff. Okay. I'm actually going to leave my car here. So I can uh, show something else off. Anyway, go back into our backyard. We can get a coin up here. And there's a gag right there. See what I mean about uh, shining blue. Uh, here's another collector card we can get right away. The homemade football. Let's take a look at it. From episode 8F13, Homer at Bat. The pet project Homer is forced to abandon so he can work on his magic bat. I'm actually going for these quotes. I'm going to try and imitate the voices. Don't hold me to that. I'm not that good at them. So, yeah. Let's try this. So, Lenny says, Yeah, I got a magic cat bat, too. Not hat. And then Carl says, And I got an enchanted jock strap. <laughs> See what I mean when I say I'm not good at that kind of stuff? Anyway, here's another gag. And here's another gag. There are three gags in the Simpsons backyard. Yeah. Lots of them. Okay, there's one gag back here. And a wasp camera. There are... Springfield is loaded with coins. Because there's two boxes in Flanders' backyard. There we go. Okay, now I'm gonna shut something off. We're about 13 minutes. I can go a little longer. Oops. Yeah, I can go a little longer. Anyway, this is a phone booth. Hey, idiot. You hit Y and you can choose the car out of all the cars you have so far, at least, or as you can get, like, out of all the cars you have so far. Far, and it'll come right to you. You can get into it. And how about we? Get another collector card. There's one back here, actually, I believe. Pretty sure. And a box. And Ralph! Now, certain characters you can actually have conversations with. Ralph, so funny, I love this. First, I'm gonna kill this wasp camera. There we go. Okay, let's take a look at this. See what I mean? Hopefully you've heard that. Or else I will be sound like a complete idiot right there. Anyway, let's get another box of coins. And up here we have our... Insanity Pepper. From episode 3F to 4. The Mysterious Voyage of Homer. 
grown in the jungle, primi primeval, primeval, I don't know, I don't know, I'm not that smart, by inmates of a South American insane asylum, these mercilessly hot peppers are the fuel for Homer's mystical journey to find his soulmate. And the quote, what's that smell? Onions, chili powder, gumming, juicy ground chuck, it's chili! Oh my god, I'm missing the chili cook-off! <laughs> I'm missing the cook-off. It's going on right now, and I'm missing it. <laughs> oh, Homer. I love you, Homer. Homer's awesome. Um, yeah. I believe we're done for this episode. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to park the car. And I'm going to say, see you guys next time, next week, for the second episode of Simpsons Hit and Run. Don't forget to put your comment down in the, in the comment section below. What costume do you want to see me wear for the rest of the level? The casual costume, which is Homer in his underwear. The Moo Moo costume, where he's big and fat. Or the Chosen One costume from the Stonecutters episode. One vote per person. I will see you next week. Bye.